попробую доповнити. Try to finish the weight here I drew from the other side. You will manage, I tell you, like that. Start from the bottom. Oleksandr is painting a mug for the first time in his life. He is carefully drawing the wheat stalk. It is extremely hard for him, since after his injury, his hands are shaky. In 2015, I had a concussion caused by a shell explosion. They say it just caught me. Oleksandr has been to the neurological department of a clinic three times already, but each time he goes back to the front lines. He says he will take the painted cup back with him. His comrade-in-arms, Valentin, says that he will give his cup to his son. Valentin also says that art therapy distracts him from traumatic memories and calms him down. You gotta start somewhere. You gotta try something that works for you. You see, he's laughing. He came for the first time as well. It kind of stabilizes, calms you down. People say all illnesses come from the nerves. If your nerves are fine, you recover faster. Art therapy master classes here have been held for four years already. This time, the volunteers decided to offer veterans a new task, painting cups and t-shirts. Art therapy starts with small things. If we are talking, for example, about cups, when they take a cup in their hands, touch it when they think about how to paint it, moving away from their bodies or towards them, that tells a lot about the person, whether they are open or introverted, and it tells how they cope with PTSD, since almost each and every one of them has it. Painting t-shirts was the most popular activity. First, veterans painted t-shirts for themselves and then for kids who live in or near the conflict zone in the east of Ukraine. These t-shirts will be delivered to those kids in the nearest future. Reported by Inessa Zanina, UATV.